Hi, my name is Nancy Gail Hagen. I'm 62 and a half years old. I live in Toronto. I've been here five years with my 10 year common law partner, Frederick Fisher. I have three children, all grown ups and six grandchildren. And my partner has three children and one grandchild. And like I said, we've been together 10 years. Um, this subject is about marijuana and the effects it can have on people. Um, I wasn't a pot smoker growing up. I never went through a hippie stage per se um, and therefore tried to keep my children away from those influence as well. Um, I'm not sure I was completely successful. I mean, I, I do know my youngest one tried it. I'm not sure about the oldest, but I know the middle one never did because when I got my medical marijuana, I was so tickled to be able to tell her I'm smoking marijuana and she informs me she already knew. So, you know, that kind of backfired on me. But anyway, uh, what I'm saying is I'm on an Ontario Disability Support Program for a couple of years now because of my inability to 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 work um, because I'm full of arthritis. I've got I just had double foot surgery in September to correct arthritis on both feet. I had hammer toes, a bunion, and I had pins in the toes. And then I had osteotomies and a big arthritic lump removed off the right foot. And uh, it's in my spine. Every second disc is bulging. If I walk one block, I have to remember that I can't go farther because it's gonna. I've got to walk back one block. Um, if I go to to one block and go to the shoppers, which is just right across the street, um, I can't get anything heavy. I have to even my weight on both sides, or my back is so bad I can hardly make it home. So um, a while back, I started getting a nauseated stomach. It was like every morning, it was awful. It was nauseated all day long. And I was sending these Wellex messages to my doctor via email and explaining to him that I was feeling nauseous. So I went in and he sent me through all these tests and, and, and stuff and nothing changed, nothing. And they, they couldn't find anything wrong. Well, it's kind of good they did them because now I know I'm good inside, right? Anyway, um, so um, it turns out it was my medication. He took me off all pain medication. And um, now I totally rely on my medical marijuana to ease my pain. Yesterday, um, in one of my containers that I get my marijuana shipped into me, um, is tea, uh, not tea, I'm sorry, uh, the stems from uh, when we pick our buds. And I made some tea out of it yesterday in one of those little tea strainer things. You can put in, put the loose tea in, just use it for your stems. And I have to tell you something, it works. I filled one of those little tea things that you put inside your teacup, if you're going to use loose tea, one of those, and just leave it in there. Mine's a spoon, so it just stuck out, right? And just leave it in, put a full cup of boiling water in. Your water will change color, but if you've got a colored mug, you can't see it. So today I used the, um, uh, you put the boiling water in, it's like a French press. So I used that, and because it was clear, you could see that it was kind of yellowed. So you can see it was colored, and the longer it sat there, the stronger it got. It's tolerable. There's a bit of an aftertaste, but a dab of honey would be good as well. Honey was in it yesterday, and um, it wasn't bad, but today I, I toughed it out, and I drank it just the way it was. And I have to tell you, it gave me a good buzz. I still feel it right now. So anyway, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is ODSP um, isn't covering any of my pain medication. So I don't see why they wouldn't be obligated to pay for what I'm using as a pain reliever now. Because if I don't have a pain reliever, um, I don't know what would happen. I mean, I know with it even, um, I still have pain every day. Um, my wrists are bad. They started when I was pushing grocery carts and my wrists started to bother me. And when I had x-rays, they said it's in my hands and my wrist. It's in my entire back, my neck both hips, both knees, and um, my feet were badly deformed. So I need the marijuana to ease the pain or I'll go crazy. And um, it's even hard for me to put two dinner plates in the cupboard or on the reverse, take them out because they're so heavy and I've got, I have no muscle tone. Um, I'm doing physio here at home and I've been doing it for a few weeks and I'm finding that it's making me worse. So I see her on the 4th of April and we'll have to have that discussion, but um, I, I just, I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to cope. Um, the other thing is, um, because I don't sleep, um, I need um, 
I need a topper for my bed. I have a queen size bed. And I know ODSP used to cover um, mattresses. Well, I don't need a whole mattress. I just need the memory foam, the four inch memory foam queen size for my bed. Because then maybe I'll be able to sleep because of the memory foam, correct? So memory foam and um, my drugs being covered every, well, it's like if I get what I'm supposed to have, it's $600 a month. Um, a little less, but still, that's rounding it off. And I'm sure my medication didn't cost that. But as a drug, you would think they'd be obligated to doing it. So anyway, I guess that's all I'm going to say right now. Um, again, um, if you're older and somebody suggests marijuana, try it. Don't say you tried it once, it made you tired, you went to sleep. It depends on what the company you're keeping. I mean, if you try it in a party situation with a bunch of friends or around a bonfire or something, and don't smoke a lot. Just take a little tiny puff and don't take any more. It comes back around, leave it. Because if you don't take, you don't use it, you're going to be walking the walls like I was the first time. And I've got it down pat. I mean, I can go to the store. I can go on the cart. I can, you know, walk up and down the stairs. I'm fine. I've totally adjusted to it. Um, so I'm not going to say any more. Have a good evening. Um, I'm going to say over and out and happy smoking. Bye.